what's going on? Figured I'd do a little update on my C39 version 1 and make a video on it. So, uh, I did have to send this in and that really sucked. Um, I've had to send it in one time and then I also had to get a replacement gas tube because, um, this, or actually not this, this little end piece right here came off. So that's a replaced gas tube. But, uh, anyway, my first AK was an American made AK, which is this one. This is my first AK. And I was impressed with the, uh, cool guy James Yeager video of the thousand rounds. And, uh, these definitely can do a thousand rounds, you know? Um, it's milled. Milled receivers pretty much last forever. Especially the um, com block milled receivers. Um, now, I did. I do like the uh, the shorter stocks that they come with. Especially if you've ever worn body armor and shot. Or had to live in body armor. The shit gets out of control. And hurts like hell after a while. But, uh. I, I like the buttstock on it. Um, I like the laminate wood. It's really nice. This is actually um, under the 3000 serial number. So maybe one day, you know, people look back at this rifle and say, you know, it wasn't a bad rifle. I mean, it's not a, uh, what is it, a Type 2 milled or whatever. But I mean, it's, it's alright. Um, the magazine fits are great. There's a Tapco G2 trigger. A Hogue grip. I'm not too crazy about the Hogue grips, but there's no reason to change this out. Um, I did replace on my OPAP. It had a grip like that. I did put a uh, Yugo style M70 plastic grip. They're they're perfectly good. I do prefer the uh, the, even the small little um, hair comb handle over these. I, I like the small grips for some crazy reason. Um, one thing I do really, really like, um, I'll cut up my hands when I try to sweep on my wasser, is this big ass butterfly elephant ear pussy lip, uh, mag release. I like it. I figured some of you guys will think that's funny. An elephant ear pussy lip mag release. As you can tell, I'm not very politically correct, and I really don't give a fuck on my channel. This channel is never going to be a fucking commercialized, um, big time, big ballin' review channel, or a fake ass review channel. So, pretty much what I review is the shit I have. Um, so, uh, the American flag on here, let's see if y'all can see it. It's pretty cool. I'd like to color that in, actually. Um, now, it, the gas tube does have holes in it. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to do. It did come with a uh, special compensator for it. It works actually pretty damn good. Um, but it has, I guess, Polish furniture. I bet I could possibly swap out the hand guards and put them on a washer. I do not know, but the butt stock is the only thing that uh, you can't really swap out. I mean, the, per the butt stock on this is perfectly fine. Um, now, as far as how does this compare to the other AKs, it is is pretty accurate. You know, these barrels are concentric. Green Mountain barrels actually they actually, uh, on Rockwell Hardness, sometimes beat old many com block barrels. So, uh, I am actually perfectly fine with a Green Mountain barrel. I really think a lot of these com block barrels, when they're, uh, not concentric, so they'll drill out the rifling canted and shit, are overrated. I mean, would I like a concentric? Com block barrel compared to a Green Mountain 4140 barrel? Absolutely. But a lot of those, like on uh, Wasters and Arsenals, are a little bit thin for my taste. Um, I do like the milled AK 47 barrel thickness 
profile a little bit better. Um, I like the uh, Zestava profile barrels a lot as well. It's, I think it's the same diameter as this. And uh, let's see. I, I, I honestly, the milled thing, I like the milled thing. I like it, but I actually prefer the uh, stamped um, RPK receiver the best. And then uh, milled's awesome, but it's not my favorite. I'd say it might be my second favorite. The um, little stamped wasters and arsenals are pretty damn light and cool. But what I found is the uh, beefier receiver. AKs usually have thick ass barrels so I would take a heavier rifle that um, may last me a couple uh, you know 100 or 200 more rounds of sustained fire over a light rifle for most of the times unless I'm, I really know I'm going in and out someplace quick you know and just need to light some shit up um, but for most purposes I would take a heavier rifle most people these days like the uh, lights can be rifles and that's fine you know I just prefer um, something that'll survive maybe an IED explosion catch on fire and uh, get all dusty and dirty and still roll so uh, and then be able to empty about four or five mags before the uh, accuracy and um, barrel life start degrading so or before the hand guards fucking light my hands on fire so uh other than that would i get this for a first ak again probably not um the c39 v2s are pretty damn cool but i would probably opt for the wasser that's just me the newer wassers i'd probably opt for a wasser over the uh c39 series um I just think the Wasters will one day be really appreciated a lot more than they are now. And then once, you know, Hillary gets elected or God knows what happens, ISIS buys um, Romarm Cougar and uh, Zestava factory and we can't get fucking AKs imported, then these will be a great option. But I still think they have room for improvement, even with the... Uh, v2 and their stupid ass uh scope rail and everything i still think there's a lot of room for improvement I, I think they should have a cleaning rod i do like i do think these look goofy as hell without cleaning rods um bayonet lugs i don't really care about but the cleaning rod would be nice i have actually had to use the cleaning rod just in the desert so uh, and they, they can be used for a lot of things i like them on the rifle I think that's what helps define the AK anyway. So, figured I'd just make this video. Um, now, why did I have to send this thing back in? Because my ejector. That little piece right there, the shark fin, right in the middle of the screen. That's why I had to send it in. It, it started. Um, deteriorating so uh, I think it'll be good to go now and even if it does uh, magically deteriorate you can always um, weld some and heat treat it so anyway I hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching